Um, as far as how I felt when I got diagnosed, uh, I really didn't grasp the grand scheme of, of the whole situation at first. Um, I, I didn't see my, my future and I, I didn't really know what it meant as far as um, me in the future and, and taking care of myself and, and all those little things. Um, and so it took a couple years to really sink in as we kind of searched on the internet and found out more information and came to these kind of um, the National Ataxia Foundation meetings, which were absolutely tremendous for us for support in the beginning. Um, and then I, I, you know, I'm, I'm finally kind of grasping um, what the future might hold for me as I, you know, meet other people and, and just see the effects of the disease. But, um, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because you, you don't know where you're going to be in a year or five years or 10 years or whatever. And I don't know if I'll be here in 30 or, you know, and, and uh, you kind of have a plan for your life. And when something like this happens, everything changes. And uh, um, so I don't know that I don't think I still don't really grasp the whole grand scheme of how this is going to affect my life. But I just kind of try and stay flexible and uh, and just roll with the punches, really. And, and so far, I'm having a really good time doing that and I'm enjoying my life, really.